Well, <laughs> the biggest challenge is the F word. Whoa, <laughs> the F word. <laughs> I start off my seminars by saying, and I have a big <laughs> F on the screen, you've got to remember the F word. And of course, the audience says, God, he just walked out. What the <laughs> heck? He's talking about the F word. And of course, I really have their attention in yes, the first 20 seconds. Yes. And then, of course, I push the clicker and up comes the big word focus. Yeah. And I totally believe this word is critical in life. Mm -hmm. to where you try on a moment-to-moment -moment basis stay focused with your priorities mm -hmm. focus on your goals short-term long-term mm -hmm. and, and that focus is critical I, I think in, in building you know a, a successful life mm -hmm. and and I'll, a, another thing I think people have to work on diligently is motivation to become a self-motivated person which isn't easy but motivation is, is the goal of achieving for yourself and for others. And of course, the third thing I, I think is avoiding the negativity that surrounds us all. Mm. Uh, politically, we have negativity in the world, we have economic challenges, we have crisis. And, and I think you ought to just kind of every day get up and say, I'm gonna block my mind from all negativity. I'm gonna stay focused, I'm gonna, learn my words and phraseology mm -hmm. and I'm going to build a more successful day, week, month, year, mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Agreed. Agreed. And I think of a horse with blinders on <laughs> yes. when you talk about the word focus and how hard it is because of all the distractions with technology today and the, the, the constant inflow, influx of these news reports. We've got every big company out there doing these different streaming services now. Right. And we see more and more and more things thrown in front of us that are gonna distract us, that are gonna take away from that focus. And like you said, having those blinders on really helps people to keep those challenges at bay. And part of being the challenge, uh, the biggest part in my mind, is that if you allow that challenge to overwhelm you and overcome you, you will fall short of your own goals, which is why I always talk about, and I know you do too, having an income goal, something that you can put in writing that you can say, okay, this is how much I wanna earn this year, this is how much that means I have to earn every month, this is how much I have to earn every week, and then every day. So I know, and even down to the hours, sometimes we talk about hourly goals. So there's no way that you can ever lose your focus if you have an hourly goal, Yes. right? And you know that's gonna meet the big number later. I so hope the people got that. I had a card about this big mm -hmm. on my desk, under the glass, on the right in front of me, and it had what my annual income goal was, broken down to that means monthly, mm -hmm. then we, uh, weekly, mm -hmm. then d daily, mm -hmm. and then I had the number of sales based on the average selling price of the property mm -hmm. that I would have to make. So it was almost like I'd stare at that. And it's amazing, as we mentioned, this subconscious mind, if you focus it mm -hmm. on wh what you want to achieve, it's amazing how it can come about. Mm -hmm. But the average person, spends more time planning the details of their two-week two vacation than the details for their long-term success, which I hope they picked up that message because it was wonderful, Andy, wonderful.